gonna be. But I know it's been a minute since I did one of these. Um, so yeah, you see something new? Yeah, your girl got braids in her hair. Guess who did it? It's me. <laughs> I did it. I didn't feel like paying nobody to do it. Um, so yeah, that's that. Sorry, somebody calling me. Um, so yeah, your girl did it. So. Yeah, so I was thinking maybe dang, if I had got like a um if I didn't throw my um my doll away, I could have just did like a tutorial for y'all. Um while I was putting these in, I was like maybe I should do like I was gonna wait till like the last one to do it and then um do a like a small video for y'all on the tutorial how to do it. Mine's is not really all perfect and stuff like that. I understand that I'm not a professional. I do it to where it looks good and that's it and it lasts long so that was the goal and i succeeded ha. so yeah um dang what can i really say um i need to fix this one yeah it's going too far but yeah so i'm gonna fix some of them because it's like it's not that bad, but, like, some of them I need to edit and stuff like that. Not edit, like, a video, but you know what I'm saying. But, yeah, so I wanted to do this. First of all, queen, pearl, 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 big, big pearls in here. Okay, big kings and queens up in here. Actually, let me reverse that. Big queens and kings. Because I'm tired of women always being put last and stuff like that. So, we're going big queens and then the kings. Okay? Per. And then we got the... We ain't gonna even say that, cause yeah. But yeah. Um what was it? So yeah, so y'all know I've did like a preacher um preaching Sunday in a minute. Um it's Saturday, but I wanna make it ahead of time. So because I will be putting it out today. Um, if y'all didn't look, I put out an Oreo Cakester review today. It's really short, like the video is like not even two minutes long, I think. Yeah, I don't even think it's two minutes long, honestly. So, go watch that. We'll run it up. Um, continue to run up the Fashion Nova vlog. I will have more content coming for you guys soon. Um, I'm in the process for looking for another job and stuff like that. Blah, 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 stuff like that. Um, but I've been doing a lot of stuff, y'all. Like, I've been crunching. Like, guess what, y'all? So, if y'all haven't watched the last video, I got into grad school. Um... I am doing an MSW program. It's fully online, um, and I start Monday. So Monday will be the day I start doing my classes and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So, and I don't have like a set schedule. I don't have no time to so when I should do it or anything like that. So that's why I also like doing school online because it's not like when you have when you. And I don't know if any of y'all is in undergrad, but usually when you're in undergrad and you go in in person. You know, it's like, um, dang, how can I put it? You got scheduled times. Like, your class has to be at 8, got a class at 2, got a class at, It's not like that. And that's why I like that because, um, yeah. So, you don't have, like, a scheduled time when you're supposed to do anything. You just got to make sure everything that you're doing is done by that Sunday. So, everything is due Sunday by a certain time. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, the pro They said the program is, like, two years um it might be more than that i'm not sure but they told me that it was two years so yeah um and on a thing it said two years um and they are um social work credited so that's great as well so yeah um so yeah so basically i just want um this sun like this preaching sunday to be really joyful like no crying no, I mean, unless it's happy tears, but like no crying, no, none of that. I just want it to be, I want you guys to feel how I feel through this video. Like lately, I've been feeling like, I know I've been doing a bunch of Preacher Sundays where it's meaningful and stuff like that. I don't, this one is, I mean, it's meaningful, but it's not as, um, like, uh, never mind, I can't exact. Because it's, it's equally important. All my Preacher Sundays is equally important. But this particular Preaching Sunday, I just want you guys to feel happiness. That's all I want y'all to feel. I want y'all to feel happiness and joy and everything from whatever you came through, from 
if your life is improving in any kind of way, if you got that job, if you got, um, if you did something that you're very proud of, like be happy, just take a moment and just be happy for yourself that you've come this far in life. Like just be happy. Like be happy because you got family. Be happy because you feel like you have great friends. Be happy in general. Like don't like you could be sad any other day, but this day particularly, I just want y'all to feel happiness. Just feel happiness, joy. Just feel everything. For one time in your life, just don't be stressed. Don't be worried about nothing. Just feel nothing but happiness. And that's what I want you guys to feel through this video. Because lately, like I'ma tell y'all. Um, a hundred percent, I feel like I have been, ever since I left Macy's, I feel like my spirits are higher. I, ever since I got into school, I feel like my spirits is higher. I feel like I've accomplished so much stuff in the time that I've left Macy's. Like, I don't know. I just feel like, um, uh, what I'm just realizing, like the things that I can't change, I can't do anything about it. So I just let it go. And the stuff that I can change, I will try to. But if not, obviously it wasn't meant to work out. And the stuff that happens, happens for a reason. So it's like, I can't really change none of that. So I'm trying the thing of being, being positive about every situation. Just being happy. Like, like I've been like, y'all don't understand. Like, I feel like Macy's really put me in a place where I was so unhappy. I was like my life was work and sleep that was my life while i was working at macy's work and sleep like it didn't even seem like i mean i was putting out some videos but my videos would have been better if i was in a better headspace and i feel like i was just putting out videos because i didn't i just wanted to put out videos for y'all but like i wasn't i don't know how to explain it like i feel like most of like the time that i put out videos was during a hard time for me and I feel like it wasn't, I was in like, some of my videos was me crying and stuff like that. And I don't want y'all to like, I mean, sometimes I want to share my vulnerable, but I feel like I shared a lot of me being vulnerable on YouTube. And I don't want this to be a place where I always just talk about shit happening and stuff like that happening and just being a downfall and stuff like that. No, like I want to be somebody's happy place i want to be somebody who can watch and just like have so much joy watching me like i just want that to happen like that's why i'm like i need to make better content not for just you guys but for me as well i want to be happy putting out comment um content for y'all like i want to be hype i want to go places with this i want to you know go travel with y'all and stuff like that like i want to be able to put out great and unique content for y'all and i feel like the time that i was working at macy's all my content was kind of sad kind of anger and stuff like that and i need to let that go which i have been and it's like since i i've been telling y'all like i feel like i feel like i was telling y'all one thing but i didn't take my advice that's one thing about me i can give great advice but so i'm i don't take it myself like I was telling y'all, if y'all was in a bad situation, just let it go and stuff like that. But me, I was in a bad situation and my mental was terrible and stuff like that. And I was crying and stuff like that, having like arguments and stuff like that. And it was really putting a hold on me. And I feel like that wasn't a great representation of what I am. I want people to be on YouTube and see my notification to be happy and shit. Like, a hey, my girl posted a hey, period and just want to watch me. Like, that's what I want it to be. I don't want it to be like, oh my God, she's crying again on YouTube. Oh my God, this, this, this. That's why I'm like, even though those was like rough times, I will not delete them because they did show my vulnerable side. But now that I'm like, I feel like ever since I left Macy's, and I finally took my own advice. I have been a lot happier. My spirit's a lot lighter. Like, I even called my mom. Like, my mom called me the other day, but I didn't answer because I was in the shower. But then I um, texted her. I was like, hey, I was in the shower, and she called me back. So I answered, and I was like, hey, ma, like, how you doing, and stuff like that. And we was just talking about um, how she's going to get um, brownie and stuff. Because brownie is going home to her mama for the summer. And then I'll probably get her back when her sister, when her mama um, go back to school. But, yeah. So, Brownie's going home um, next Saturday. So, like a week from today, she's going home. Um, 
So yeah. So like I just um so yeah, she was on the phone, we was talking about that. And she was like, she's like, How are you? And I'm like, I'm good, like I'm really good. And she was like, Yeah, like she's she was like, You like you just like your voice seems lighter, like you seem like you're in a better place. And I was like, Yeah, like I said no fucking crying. Oh my god. But it's like um it's not well I said I can allow tears of joy. But that's the only reason I'm crying is because like my face is getting red, sorry. But it's like I'm only crying because I know like I can feel that I'm in a better place than how I was when I was at Macy's. Like I can feel like I'm in a better place. I'm happier, lighter, and stuff like that. And I'm so proud of myself for that. Like it was a hard couple months for me and stuff like that. And y'all know that because I've been on here like doing videos, ranting and stuff like that. So y'all understand like it was really hard for me like and stuff like that. Oh, I'm sorry. But yeah, like like just hearing my mom say like, oh my gosh, like you sound so much lighter. Like you sound like you're in a better place. That like it made me happy that that. Like, even I asked my friend, I was like, is that true? Like, have I been like in a better place and stuff like that? And she was like, yeah, like. And I was just like, I was happy because I don't know, like, when I was in a rough place, I felt like I was such a burden on people. Like, my attitudes, like, my attitude's still bad, but it's like, it's not as, like, like, I feel like me, I would just be angry for no reason. And I don't want to be angry for no reason because that's not how, like, I want to live my life. I want to live my life. Like, you only live once. Like, I want to make the happiest memories in my life, you know? So, like, so, like, them, like, telling me that, like, Stasia, you seem happier, you seem, like, lighter, and your spirits has been up that, like, that made me so happy, like, like, I was, like, just, like, and it's crazy, like, my mom didn't even see me, she just heard my voice and was, like, you sound like you're in a better place, and I was, like, I really am, like, I'm so happy, y'all, like, I feel like, since I left Macy's, I got so much done, like, it was like, because, what was it, this past Monday was my last day at Macy's. Tuesday, I got into grad school. Um, my doctor called, like, my doctor called me. Y'all know, I've been struggling to see my doctor. Like, I was supposed to have an appointment with her yesterday, but she canceled because she wouldn't be in office. So, could not go to my doctor's appointment, but she was like, you know what, I guess she understand how hard it is for me down here and then she's up there in Charlotte. But I don't want to get rid of my doctor and I think she knows that. So, because she's really been helpful and stuff to me. So, she was like, she was like, you know what? She was like, I know it's been like hard and stuff. For you. And it was like, the nurses called me and he was like, you know, your doctor said she would be willing to give you like a one month pres um, prescript, like a one month prescription um so that way you can try to like see her within that month span but like i will be getting my medicines and stuff like that so i'm grateful for that because now like i don't have to rush to see her like i have another month where i can come see her so like because lately i've been trying to rush and rush and rush because i've been out of my medicine but now that she's giving me you know a one month prescription for it then it's like yes like i'm so happy because like it was really like struggling for me to get there and stuff like that so but, like, yeah, I'm really, like, this video is going to be unedited as well because I'm not saying nothing any crazy anyway. But, yeah, like, I'm. it seems like so much stuff is working out for me. And so they was like, well, for your medicine, like, you have to, um, the lady was like, um, the another lady had called back. She was giving me a, a lot of attitude and I didn't like that. So I hung up on her because she was like, um, oh, you have to fill out some. Mind you, the first time I got my medicine, I didn't have to fill out nothing. So I was confused about what I had to fill out and so like that. But she wouldn't tell me. She was like, oh, you got to fill out this and this and this. And I was like, well, how am I going to get it? And she was like, oh, we can mail it to you, but it will be um, delaying the process even further and stuff. Like, she was being so negative and stuff. And I was in a happy, like, y'all know I'm being in a happy place and I didn't want to, you know, catch an attitude or anything with her because that's just negativity trying to come out of me and I don't want that. I want nothing but positivity flowing from me to y'all and me to like my friends and my family. So she was like so like I was just like okay I'm tired of the disrespect and the rudeness. So I hung up on her. I still hung right up on her. And you know what? I was like oh well I got my pharmacist number because like when I went to this doctor she formed a team for me because I don't have no health insurance. 
So, and none of that. So, like, she formed a team for me. Like, people to check up on me. Check up on my, like, my uh, blood sugars. Make sure they're good. People to check up on my um, medicines and stuff like that. And so, I have my pharmacist's number. And I was like, hey, like, is this still your number? Because I, like, I texted her a couple times. She answered. But I was like, hey, is this your, still your number? And stuff like that. And she was like, yeah, like, I was about to call you and stuff. No, she was like, I was about to text you um, about what Dr. Butler said. And she was like, um, she was like, she just needs you to fill out a couple things so um, for your thing. And she was like, are you currently working? And I was like, no, because, you know, I'm not working because I, like, I left Macy's Monday. And she was like, she was like, oh, okay, then that's all we need from you. So I feel like everything, literally everything is working out, y'all. I don't understand what it is. I don't know what it is. But it seems like every, like everything is working out. And it's really shaking. It's shaking me. It's shaking me. Like, how did that plan so well? Like, like how? Like, how did, like, you know, it's not but the Lord. Or for y'all, it's probably whoever y'all have higher power is. For me, it's the Lord. It's the Lord. He see me. And I've been praying. Like, y'all, I've been praying and stuff like that. And I just feel like everything is starting to come together. And it's really, like, I'm happy. Like, and it's like, how well did that plan out? Like, I left Macy's Monday. And they talked about me, what, fr yesterday, which was Friday. And she called me. And that's when they was talking about the one month thing. And she was like, oh, yeah, that's all we need. Um, She was like, are you currently working? And I was like, no. I feel like if I was working, they would have had to send, have me go through this whole process. But the fact that I left Macy's Monday and then today, I mean, yesterday, they was like, she was like, yeah, I just need, like, a couple things for you. She was like, I can fill out most of it. But um, she was like, I just need to ask you a couple questions. And I was like, okay, the first question, are you currently working? I said, no. She said, okay, that's all we need from you. That's it. I'm just sending it in, and then you're going to get your medicine soon. Like, how well did that work out? Like, am I the one shocked here? Like, how well did that work out? And I'm not one of the people to go on the online and stuff and go about how my life is this doing this and this and this and this. No, because as y'all know, my life has been shit. It's been, it's been, it's been some hard, it's been some hard times. It's been some hard times. So it's like, this is like, it's finally doing happiness for me. So I want to share happiness with y'all. Y'all always see me crying, mad and angry, but I want to see, I want y'all to see me happy, like happy and having happy moments like that's what i want my channel to be about positivity like us growing together loving each other no hate against nobody and none of that like we just loving and showing positivity and that's what i like that's what i like so yeah like i've just been happy y'all like i've been happy like i've been happy and i got a job interview monday for an office assistant so let's see how that go um, I'm also applying to, like, online work-at-home jobs as well, like chat agents and stuff like that. So, I feel like something great is in the making. Um, this is not the end. Oh, I know that, they, they, I don't know if they see, don't see this, but um, I got Jay and her sister, their graduation presents. Yeah, I'm so excited, like, I'm so excited. Like, I got their graduation present yesterday, and it can't. it's coming today. But I ain't going to give it to them to the day of their graduation. Like, okay, so Jay, um, Jay's sister's graduation is next Saturday, the 7th. And then Jay's is the 14th, the week after. So, I know I got to hide it somewhere. I got to hide it somewhere. But they don't want to come in my room, so. Yeah, but I'll be going in her room, so. So, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm trying to find, like, a good, uh, like, if I get, like, a high-paying job, y'all, it's over. Because that's all I need right now. Plus, I want my YouTube to go. And as I say, in May, March, sometime in May, it'll be one month since I've been on YouTube and stuff like that. So, we just going, we just going, y'all. Also, if y'all want to follow me on my social media, y'all should. Y'all really should. I've been posting a lot. Let me show y'all. Well, I don't know about my Instagram, but I'll be on Instagram and I'll be responding to people. This is my Instagram, y'all. If y'all wanna follow me. Okay. That's and then it's my oops. 
Almost got her. Oh, they almost caught me. Because, you know, my, when they be doing that copyright, boy, they getting it. Like, YouTube, that was only literally, like, one second. Don't play with me. But, yeah. So, ooh. this is my TikTok. I just posted these two videos. These two, uh, yes, no, I recorded them yesterday, but I was, um, today. So, this outfit is from yesterday, because me and my, um, me, uh, Jay and her sister went on campus yesterday, and we had a good time, y'all. We had a good time. Um, it's good reminiscing and going on campus and stuff like that. But, yeah, um, so the moral of this is just be happy, you know? Just be happy. That's all you need to do. Just be happy. Live your life to the fullest. Have no regrets. Don't... Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Have no regrets. Like, just... Oh, just be yourself. Like, I think that's good advice. Like, but yeah, um, that's in this video, you guys. Um, for preaching Sundays, that's all I had to say. Be happy, be joyful. You only live once. Live your life to the fullest. Don't give give a freak about what nobody else got to say because it's your life, it's your body, and at the end of the day, you gonna have to live what you do. Point blank, period. So. Just make the best of everything that you do, y'all. That's all I got to say. But, yeah. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, to all my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I love you guys to death. Let's keep going up. Um, I'm, I'm going to bring some more content for you guys. I am. I, am, I got y'all. Um, I meant to record yesterday when I was, um, walking around campus, but I have forgot. Plus, like, I just wanted to enjoy, like, walking around campus and reminiscing with, uh, Jay's sister and stuff while she was in class. So, so, yeah, y'all, that was the end of this video. Um, your girl's out. Um, I love you guys so, so, so much. Uh, hit that notification bell to be notified whenever your girl posts a video. Because I will be dropping some bangers, especially this Sunday. Me and Jay and her sister got this whole list of stuff that we going to do this summer. So, I'm going to take y'all with me. And it's going to be a ride. Because, you know, summer is when I come with my bangers, boy. That's when I come with my bangers. So, yeah. Bye, guys. I love you so, 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 so much. Mwah. I wanted to do it on my list, but I got lip gloss on. So, I was like, Mwah. yeah. So, mwah. bye. Bye, bye, bro.